The reason why we asked you here, Sam, we've got some exciting news for you. We're sending you to China. Hi, I'm Daniel Shaw, the writer-director of Shanghai Calling, a new romantic comedy about American expats living in modern-day China. Despite all of the research that went into Shanghai Calling, I was constantly looking for more details about China life to make the script feel more contemporary. But the English language books and news sites I was reading, they just didn't feel plugged in enough or very authentic. I also tried searching Chinese blogs, but I'm pretty bad at reading Chinese, and so I was kind of at a loss. Then a friend of mine referred me to Chinasmack.com. What an amazing website. Chinasmack covers all of the news topics, videos, and internet memes that are trending in China right now and tells you what the average Chinese citizen is saying about these things. And best of all, Chinasmack does all of this in English in a way that's easy for outsiders to understand. Chinasmack came in handy countless times when I was writing Shanghai Calling, but the biggest help I got from the site was when I was rewriting a character who is a Chinese journalist. I needed him to have a legendary reputation, but I also wanted his name to be funny in both English and Chinese. By searching the China Smack glossary, I actually managed to find a Chinese slang term, gay li, which is a relatively new term in China meaning awesome. So I decided to name this character Wang Gay Li in Chinese, which translates to awesome Wang in English. Call him Awesome Wang. Awesome Wang? Hi, you must be awesome. I'm, I'm Sam. Sam? Tell me what you need help with. Audiences in China and the US respond really well to this name. They think it's really funny, and because of it, he's one of the most memorable characters in the movie. If you're trying to get your finger on the pulse of the average Chinese citizen, but you can't read Chinese, then China Smack is the best resource on the internet. So bookmark it now and go to the movie theater to watch Shanghai Calling when it opens in China on August 10th. <laughs>